muddy water, foggy morning. Got 25 limb lines to check and four jugs. Let's get to it. Go ahead flip the camera around. I don't know if you can tell behind me, but apparently cameras do not do it's justice when it comes to how thick the fog is, but let's see if I can get it on video. Now just for the simple fact that I don't have a, my camera woman with me today, I'm just going to keep the camera a little bit lower than normal because some of these branches are pretty hefty and they will drag the camera into the into the river and that's the last thing I need. Uh, but uh, yeah, coming up to our first line, let's see what we got. Probably nothing. I, I Probably nothing. How about this? I'll just turn on the camera when I do get something. All right, come here, buddy. I can't tell if he's hooked good or not. I guess we'll find out. You know, that's probably about the smallest I'd accept. There it is. There goes the two fish that feed us for the week. That's pretty awesome. You talk about being blessed. I know most people would probably think like, oh my gosh, eating channel cats. Yeah, we eat channel cats. Food's food. Flatheads are better. Yeah, flatheads are better, I'm sure, but... I mean, beggars can't be choosers when whatever's biting your hook is still edible. Yeah. Come here, little buddy. Woo! Let's let him get a little bit bigger. Throw that one back. It's a little bit too small. I wouldn't say it's too small. You know, we could call this a panfish. Gut it out and throw the whole thing in the pan. But uh, I'm more of a fillet kind of guy. <laughs> He's not happy at all. Don't worry, dude. I'm not coming for you. I'm checking my lines. Wouldn't it be something if that boy just climbed into the boat and just tore me up a new one? Well, guys, that's all I got for for today's vlog. We put out 25 lines, four jugs, and we got three fish. One of them I threw back. And it looks like the honey hole's drying up. You know, normally we get about half our lines filled up, and we'd throw back a couple, and we take home at least eight for the weekend. But you know what? Still blessed. We got two fish. To, well, we got two fish on this run, and we got two fish on yesterday's run, so... Still blessed on that. That's four fish for the weekend. That'll, that'll feed my family. So, <laughs> I think the honey hole is starting to dry up. I think it's time to pack up our lines next weekend and try in a whole another area. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the river. I mean, look, I found this boat. Has no motor, clearly leaks. I do have one thing about this. It looks like the boat, I don't know if I got it on video, but there was a guy in the background while I was talking at first. And he was having problems. I seen him on one of the farmlands on the other side of the ramp. And he looked like he launched this boat off and then had difficulty trying to get back up. But I don't know. This. I kind of really hope they didn't like just launch it off to get rid of it. I honestly don't know. I mean, if I had an outboard, I can get this out. I don't know how I'm going to do this with a long tail. 
All right, I'm gonna get things situated and I'm gonna go ahead and tie a dock line to it and uh, see if I could get it pulled out. There's nowhere for me to tie off to. bad about this is my boat's already heavy enough on the back oh my gosh here comes somebody you okay yeah I found it I guess somebody just disposed of it I guess so it's got a pretty good leak on it too That's dangerous I hate when people do that I know I'm gonna try to figure out a way to tie it up, at least get it to the bank or something. There's a there's an old abandoned tie up right here. Okay. Right over there on your left. Don't fall in all. Right across the middle Alrighty, thank you. Yes, sir. Another boater came by. At first I thought it was the game warden, just the way they had a boat set up, but it wasn't, but I got a dock line hooked up to the boat. I'm not too far from the boat ramp. I'm gonna try to attempt to pull this, see what I can do. Keep it slow, keep it low. I guess the best thing I could do without putting myself in the harm it was putting too much pressure on the back of my boat and I can't risk me getting hurt in the meantime so I'm just gonna get it to the boat dock because I have no cell phone service call the game warden and let them know that there's a boat just randomly floating down the river and hopefully they get to it before it fully sinks <laughs> <laughs> 